You are watching Wide Field with Vivian Burchill. Welcome to this episode of Whitefield. I'm at the Merrimack Valley Black and Brown Voices event showcasing um, African and Black and Brown businesses and this is an event that is uh, um, aimed at promoting our work as Black and Brown people and my mother is showcasing her craft and uh, there's been an immense support for Black and Brown Voices and businesses and well, this is one of the things that we can do to support, uh, to bridge the inequality in our communities. I hope other communities can learn from this and do more of these events to uh, support, think, uh, support households of my marginalized groups. for black and brown people in Merrimack Valley to know each other, to get together, to create events, to have a community, to have a safe space for people who look like us. And we created this market specifically for black and brown owned businesses in order to market them and make money, especially with COVID going on. We want to uplift as many black and brown people as we possibly can. My name is Bill. I'm the director of the Cormier Youth Center in Andover, Massachusetts. It's a youth development program. And uh, one of our young people that I've known pretty much since she was born, Elizabeth Grant, has uh, co-founded an organization, Merrimack Valley Black and Brown Voices. So our organization, the Cormier Youth Center, has decided we are going to partner with her organization and help change this world. And uh, making more voices heard, more, more people giving them a chance, quality, justice, having the world be a fairer place for all. So, with that being said, we've done a number of events, and today we have a black and brown business market here in Andover of people coming down, meeting local black and brown business owners, supporting them, and by supporting them, also supporting the change we need to see in our world. So, we hope you can come down, and if not, keep on supporting people. Hey, um. Hi. Hi. What's up, bro? Oh, Upro it's the name of our summer. We all work at the youth center, and Upro is the name of the summer. So we're here at Black and Brown Voices, and we're helping out because we think that uproar. We need to talk about it. We need to change. Bring it up. The world's not going to change unless we step in and change it ourselves. Thank you all for the work. Nothing's going to be heard. That's true. Thank you all for the work you're doing. Amazing. Hey, Love it. you. Woohoo! My 
my name is Shannon Clark and I'm founder and CEO of Clean and Baby Box. I'm here today with the Merrimack Black and Brown Voices at the Black Owned Market and I'm so happy to be here. Um, today is really special because we have the opportunity to come out into our communities and showcase our businesses which otherwise wouldn't necessarily be found. Um, and there's such an array here today of different businesses uh, founded and um, you know, by black people, by black and brown people, and that is really, really important. And so it's really awesome to see our colleagues here, I just ran into a, a friend who I work with and our neighbors uh, to really support our businesses and learn more about who we are. Uh, so to give you a little bit of taste of what Queen and Baby Box is, it is a subscription box for moms who breastfeed. Um, I started this company in 2018 after I had my first uh, child, my daughter, and having to work in Boston. I live here in North Andover, and it was really, really tough, and I never wanted another mom to feel alone um, and without products. So I started my box to send products every month and with a little special um, handwritten note as well as information about pumping and breastfeeding. Uh, so if you want more information, if you'd like to buy a box or learn more about our boxes, please visit me online at www.queenandbabybox.com. Thank you. Hello, uh, my name is D2. I run D2 Fab, which stands for fashion, art, and beauty. I'm really passionate about showcasing African um, cultural works. I have beautiful, colorful masks. I have um, jewelry made out of brass, which I get directly from Kenya. It is uh, usually handmade by people in Kenya, so it's a way to support families on the continent. I'm really happy to be uh, here. I'm really happy to share a taste of my culture. I think it's important um, that we see a reflection of our identity, uh, even here in America. Um, I think it goes a long way in um, anchoring us to our roots. And um, it's a way to also support each other economically um, as we you know, go about surviving um, on, on this land. Uh, so I'm, I'm happy that we were able to come together even during a time like this and show that you know, there's, there's still some joy <laughs> left. People still wanna come together. We still wanna interact um, and uplift each other. So I actually feel really happy being here and uh, talking to people. We've been <laughs> stuck at home for so long. So yeah, thank you for giving me um, a chance to talk to you. Okay. And it was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And you say you're an immigrant from Kenya, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. Yep. I'm from Kenya. I've been here a few years, more than a few years. Well, karibuni sana. Asante, asante. Support black and brown businesses because that is the way, the practical way of helping bridge the economic disparity that we face. Actually, not just economic, but social, economic, and political. Uh, disparities in our communities. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah.